Hello everyone, this is Ravinder Dundra and welcome to my channel. Today, we will continue with this classification of soils. In that, we have already discussed about alluvial soils, black soils, red and yellow soils. Now, let us talk about this laterate soils. What are these laterate soils? Where we can find these laterate soils? And how these laterate soils are formed? So, all these things we will discuss in this lecture. So, let us begin. So, these laterate soils, actually the word laterate, it has been derived from the uh, Latin word that is later which means brick. That means the word laterite actually derived from a Latin word that is later which later which means brick. Why it is used as brick? Why they have given this name is that in the olden days whenever they used to construct any monuments or buildings they used to cut this soil into a brick like structure. Because of this they have given this name later which means brick and these soils develops in tropical as well as subtropical regions what are these subtropical and subtropical regions for example if you see if you take this as a globe and if this is 0 degree equator and if it is tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn so this between these two regions this particular region we call it as this tropical region and above this region up to this uh, arctic circle as well as antarctic circle this particular region we call it as this subtropical region so these laterate soils they are found in this tropical region as well as in this subtropical regions and how it is formed is that it is the result of intense leaching due to heavy rain you see whenever there is a heavy rain what happens is that the top layer of the soil is washed away due to this heavy rains or whenever there is a heavy rain the water will wash away all the top layer of this soil so whenever this process occurs these laterate soils are formed and these soils they are somewhat more and more acidic because the ph value is less than 6% usually you all know that if the ph value is less than 7 it is acidic in nature if the ph value is more than 7 it is base in nature so these soils they are acidic in nature since the ph value is less than 6 then where these forests are found where these soils are found is that these soils they are found mainly in the western ghats regions of maharashtra western ghat regions of maharashtra means you all know where these western ghats are uh, like moving in Maharashtra to this South India. Then at the same time you can also find these uh, uh, soils in Odisha and some parts of even in this West Bengal. So in India for example if you see they are found in Maharashtra Western Ghat region then Odisha and some parts of this West Bengal. Then what type of forests or what type of crops it can grow in these soils is that this supports deciduous as well as evergreen forest you all know what are these deciduous forests as well as evergreen forest so mostly this deciduous as well as evergreen forest are grown in this laterate soils but these soils are what is that continuously prone to erosion and land degradation why because as you all know just now i mentioned there is a leaching which happens due to heavy rain so automatically there will be soil erosion as well as land degradation then these crops if we follow this soil erosion or if you follow the soil conservation methods to prevent soil from erosion what happens is that this soil is highly suitable for growth of tea and coffee if you can follow proper techniques of soil conservation so these soils if we follow proper soil conservation methods they are highly suitable for the growth of tea and coffee especially in southern states south india states like tamil nadu kerala karnataka as well as even in states like ap and telangana also these soils are also highly suitable for the growth of this cashew nuts so but when they are highly suitable is that if these are properly cultivated by following some soil conservation methods then only we can use these soils for growth of tea coffee or even we can also grow this 
Cash about nuts. this another important type of soils that is about this arid soils arid in the sense arid means actually it means something known as this dry so we can also call them as this dry soils and usually these arid soils they are red and brown in color wherever you see the arid soils mostly they are red and brown in color and the characteristics of these soils is that they are more mainly they are sandy and saline in nature that means they are mostly covered with sand and the salt content in these soils is also very very high so here the salt content is very very high in these soils and such a high salt content is there in these soils where we can we can actually obtain this common salt from this soils whenever if there is a evaporation occurs <coughs> whenever if there is any evaporation due to high temperatures and high climate high uh, higher temperature hot climatic conditions what happens is that the water will be evaporated and after evaporation of the water from this uh, dry soils or arid soils we can even actually obtain this common salt and these arid soils they lacks humus as well as moisture why because just now as i told since they are found in this dry regions what happens is that there will be more and more amount of evaporation taking place due to hot climatic conditions because of that there will be less humus or moisture but these soils if we can properly irrigate them we can use these soils or we can cultivate these soils but what we have to do is that we need to properly irrigate these soils continuously so with the continuous process of irrigation we can actually use these soils for example if you take this in the western part of rajasthan western rajasthan where this tar desert region is there there also you can find this arid soils but people started using this arid soils by using proper irrigation techniques then the lower origin of these soils are occupied by kankar kankar means i told which means it is something like this calcium carbonate so what happens is that lower origin is occupied by this kankar means for example if this is the top layer of the soil in the below this soil that means on the lower origins of this soil in this region it is completely occupied by this calcium carbonate and because of this calcium carbonate what happens is that the infiltration of water that means the water if there is any rainfall or any if we pour what if we pour water what happens is that the water will be going only up to here since this top layer is this lower origin is occupied by something known as this kankara calcium carbonate therefore the these soils they lack humus or they lack moisture if they are if the water is staying on this region itself means due to high temperatures or if there is a te if the temperatures are very high means automatically they will be evaporated back into the air so that is why these soils are somewhat dry in nature or they lack humus and moisture